Hey, what's good? I hope everyone is doing well. So, right now we are going to play this game, ready or not, on GTX 1660 Super, um, a first person shooter game, and it is being called as a very realistic and um, super nice FPS game. Um, so, we are going to run this on our card, GTX 1660 Super, and we are going to see what settings works the best for this game to get the best possible performance while retaining the best possible visuals. So I'm able to get um, about uh, 150 frames um, in open outside uh, settings and about 110 frames in indoors uh, interior settings where there is um, more demanding uh, details and uh, <coughs> graphics. But uh, um, OBS is making me lose about 10 to 15 frames so please consider that since OBS uh, uses VRAM. So let's jump into the settings first and let's see the settings. Okay, so we are in the basic graphics tab over here. Um, uh, standard stuff, screen modes, full screen, re re uh, resolution 1080p, uh, resolution scale 100%. So we are not compromising in terms of um, uh, image quality, so image is super clear, 100% with 100% uh, resolution scale. So no blurriness and stuff. Uh, everything is pretty standard. Okay, so we are in the advanced tab. Texture quality extreme, since we don't want the game to look bland. Um, and of course, textures are fundamental to the visual appeal of the game. And it is not going to kill a uh, uh, a lot of frames so we can use the textures as extreme value shadows medium uh, perfect sweet spot post process quality it is this one is definitely a big performance killer and medium is a sweet spot it kind of gives uh, <coughs> some uh, shadows to to the environment uh, kind of uh, really uh, it it adds a little bit of detail uh, to the overall environment but um, medium is a sweet spot a low really looks uh, make things look really uh, really bland the uh, environment kind of loses depth the details loses depth so it kind of adds some shadows and some really uh, eye candy stuff so medium is a sweet spot for post-processing quality and the aliasing of course extreme uh, it is the prior priority to get uh, the most cleanest possible image so uh, anti-aliasing quality extreme we can't uh, compromise with anti-aliasing quality we can always compromise with other things even texture shadows post-process quality everything we can turn down but not anti-aliasing vfx quality uh, it it, it definitely adds um, some eye candy to to the um, graphics but it is uh, a, a, a really big performance killer in the game and even without uh, uh, VFX quality uh, setting it to the low value the game still looks decent in my opinion and uh, I want to leave this on low view distance did not see uh, any change uh, in terms of graphics so I chose to go with low. You can see the other settings over here. We're not using any upscaling methods, so we are getting nice, crispy uh, outlines, edges. Let's see the gameplay now. Okay, the game really looks decent in terms of graphics. Police, get down now! All the face models and <coughs> stuff is not that good but um, everything else is decent really okay so we're inside the store. I got it. 
Hey, Judge, you want anything while we're The moment looked really, really decent. I mean, after Battlefield 4. After Battlefield 4, uh, right now I'm getting some really good vibes from this game. I like, you know, modern uh, uh, time city based shooter game. And I think this one is definitely which can uh, satisfy your itch if you like the same kind of uh, shooter games. Oh wow. Although I think shooting was not that satisfying. We have rules outlined for a reason. Act within them. Got them all zipped up. Securing. The movements and first person perspective um everything is really really fine the environment the lighting looks super cool hmm. oh, fuck in here, man. So far, this seems an interesting game. Um, I think if I, if I if I had time, um, if I uh, did not have a job uh, and I, I had a complete free time, I would I would definitely I would definitely. Um, like to explore this game. I want to I want to shoot again on target to I don't know it, it did not feel really satisfying the shooting. I'm not too sure about it yet. I only shot one target but no. What's the objective? Where do I have to go? Okay, so civilians are here. We have to clean this space. Hands on your head, move. Turn around and stay still. Moving into handcuffs. The civilian is ready. I'm still clueless what about the objective. Move in, clear the room. Breaching. Opening your line to place on your six. Fall in. On your six. Moving in the head cut. Roger entry team, great work. Keep going. Dropping a chem light. On me. I'm with you. Police, get 
Provide support. I'm weak. I'll see. Good to go. Suspect detained. Chicken V. Freely roam and some different location. So we are just limited to this one. Okay, okay, okay. So we can't go anywhere else. Okay, so whatever we have to do has to do with this location only. Back side of the store. Oh, with your life. Get down now. This is quite realistic because in this game, you haven't got the enemies all over the place, it is like a real. Real shootout stuff. Okay, guys, the realism is is there, yeah. Turn around. I got cops. What did you think was gonna happen? Got it back. Man, what the civilians who are over here. Oh, I, I kind of like like this game. Okay, so there must still be civilians in some rooms that we are not able to find. We have to evacuate all the place. And just complete. Stay on me. On you. So I, th I think we have to search the whole place, every room and stuff. Gameplay is intense, really. Kind of like this. Element to talk. Civilian, good to go for evac. Talk to high ground. Great work, catch your team. Keep it up. The first person angle is really good now uh, it's not feeling like lightweight for example call of duty kind of feels um very lightweight i mean the guns uh, weight you you can feel it is 
in Call of Duty you can feel it really light and uh, I don't know but that was the difference I used to feel between uh, Battlefield and Call of Duty that the, ba the gun in Battlefield you could really feel the weight when you would uh, move your mouse and Call of Duty it with Call of Duty it was kind of really kind of fake feeling but the game kind, kind of nailed it you can the gun feels really all right when you are moving your mouse okay so i i think i'm not getting i'm really not getting the game uh right now so i think i will i will end the video since i don't want the video to get lengthy all right guys uh, i hope you found the settings helpful all right